Congressman Steve King is demanding an apology from the media and from Republicans after he made comments that humanity would not exist if it were not for rape or for incest. King says that he was misquoted. King defended himself over the weekend as he held town hall meetings, including a town hall that only one person showed up for. And here she is, Jessica Birch. Thank you so much for being here. I, I want to talk to you about this very unique experience, but first, let's have a listen to part of how this town hall that you attended went. You've been a, a, a really, you've been the best audience I've ever had. Not one person has ever individually contributed so much to a town hall meeting as you, Jessica. And so, if I had a certificate, I'd bring you up here and give you an award today. <laughs> and I uh, appreciate you being here today. I appreciate the press being here today. And I appreciate my staff who does a great job every day. Uh, we'll close this thing out, move on to the next one. And thank you so much for being here, Jessica. All right, so Jessica Birch, that's how this town hall ended. But let's start at the very beginning. Take us through your morning and your decision to attend this event, because I think some people might maybe who aren't familiar with Iowa Nice might be surprised to learn you're not actually a supporter of King. So take us through your decision to go to this event. So earlier that uh, on Friday, I just saw the event against my uh, across my Facebook feed and I just I just just glanced at it. And then I went out that night and I was just like, you know what, I should show up and just I didn't really plan on saying anything. I just kind of wanted to be there in support of just the opposition of his just his latest remarks. So when I showed up there, uh, and I, I sat at the back of the room, and no one else was there, and he came back and shook my hand, and I sat down, and I'm like, OK, well, I'm not going to leave, so I guess I'll have to speak up. Um, so that's kind of like how I ended up there. And so you, you had arrived at this community center, and you only saw a few cars in the parking lot, which explains why that was when you went in and you were the only person who was not part of his staff, right, who was there sitting in the audience. So you decide to, you decide to engage. So um, what did you hear from him and what did you want to talk to him about? So I know that um, he's been in the news and he's a very controversial figure for his latest remarks. Um, and I, I was honestly a little bit nervous to confront him on that, just being the only person there. Um, and also I just kind of, I just knew that I had this opportunity with having him alone for an hour to ask him about issues that I cared about. So the first thing, uh, he talked about trade a little bit and I asked him about uh, China's Belt and Road Initiative. But then after that, I, I really got into the issues that I cared about, such as talking about affordable housing. Um, and then, then it kind of just snowballed into a regular conversation. And we talked about reparations. And then I think I finished talking with asking about student loan debt. What did you think about what, what you heard from him? It was very different from, I think, maybe what you'd wanted to hear or what you think on the issues. It was different. A few t there was a few times when he would answer um, some of his questions in a roundabout way and not really get to an answer. But I, since I was the only person there, I could actually just follow up directly and just ask him to clarify or ask him for more information. So I just had the unique opportunity just to try to get some more answers out of him than uh, I guess other people would, would usually get. So what did you, I know there was security there. Tell us what you said to the security folks as you left. It was really funny because I, so I was leaving and I was just, I made a little joke and I was just like, oh yeah, I'm sorry you guys had to come out uh, this morning because I'm just like such a rowdy person when the whole time, I, I would say the whole um, town hall was just very like peaceful and I, I sometimes it got a little like, uh, my questions were, we'd have a, just an honest conversation about things and I didn't like his answers sometimes, but I didn't, I just kept my cool and I just didn't get mad and, um, but they didn't find it that funny that I was just, just like, they didn't laugh at my joke, but. The security, and tell us about what your friends thought because you tweeted out while you were at this uh, event, at this town hall, and then you went home to kind of sleep off your late night the night before um, because you did have fun the night before. Um, <laughs> Which we learn, it's pretty funny actually in this article that we read about you. Um, but what, did, what was the reaction from your friends? Because you had such a civil engagement with him, but what did they want? Yeah, so actually it was really funny. So after this happened, I actually called my mother uh, like 10 times and she thought something was terribly wrong. But I was just like, no, I just had this like hour conversation with Steve King. And then I went home and I ate some breakfast pizza and went back to bed. Uh, and then when I went out that night, I was just like, oh, there's all these like, post about it. 
and they told me just that if they were there that they would have kind of maybe engaged him more and more like kind of would have they would have, would have been more upset um, but I think it's obviously sometimes easier to say these things when you're not personally there and you're not alone so I just kind of I conducted myself at the town hall the way that I try to conduct myself all the time so I just it wasn't any different for me what did they want what would they have gotten upset about your friends what did they tell you they would have they would have gotten I know that a lot of people are upset with his remarks lately and I mm -hmm. I'm not supportive of them in any aspect and I and that's kind of just it I I don't support that stuff at all but I just kind of wanted to use my opportunity to ask him about things that I cared about all right, Jessica, well, we appreciate you coming on, joining us from Cedar Falls, Iowa. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.